MEPs expressed their shock over the revelation that the United States has been running a surveillance program to gather emails, documents, video and voice chats, photos and other material from social media sites. The program, called PRISM, is targeted at non-Americans, including EU companies. Some MEPs fear that several governments are being complicit and say it will affect the EU-US investment and trade deal. Politicians will be more reluctant, also citizens will be more critical about uh, having agreements with the US if we again and again see that at least the spirit of such agreements are violated. Safer food for babies and people with specialist dietary needs. That's the hope following the adoption of an agreement between the Parliament and Member State Governments. Clearer labelling is the key, with a ban on the use of baby pictures on products for those under a year old. But some MEPs are angry that baby food can still use crops grown using agrochemicals that leave a residue. It was a step government ministers refused to take. I wanted to have a complete ban for the most toxic chemicals known to man, such as cancerogenic, reproduction toxic and hormone disrupting chemicals, that they should not be able to use such pesticides when you produce baby food. But, unfortunately, the council fought vigorously that these chemicals can be put on the fields on foods that is destined for our children, the most vulnerable group in society. The rise of Euroscepticism engendered by the economic crisis must not be allowed to succeed. That was part of the message in a speech to members by the President of Slovenia, former MEP Borut Pahor. On an official visit, he urged a shared responsibility. There is a knowledge that nobody can tackle these problems on their own, but we can do it together, and maintaining this faith is our primary task.